We are still using Illustrator and we are on a fresh canvas. First, we are going to open the background image named house.png. When you open house.png, make sure you create and put it in its own layer. Next, you need to import or place the couple.png image in its own layer on the same canvas as the house image. Position the couple image in front of the house image. Let me take a break from Illustrator and discuss the importance of sizing. Both images have to be the exact same size or the images won't draw properly in Video Scribe. If the images aren't the same size, we won't achieve the effect of drawing an image behind another image. When talking about size, I'm talking about the image as a whole, including any white space that may be around the image. The blue area in the two images represents the canvas which normally is white. I used blue for the canvas so you could distinguish it from the white space area around the image. I have not discussed stroking an image yet, but will later. So keep the following in mind. The white space gives you room to stroke the image and still keep the image the same size by stroking within the boundaries of the image as a whole. If you stroke beyond the white space, the images will be different sizes making it impossible to achieve the effect we want. Now that you understand the concept of sizing for this project, I will use Illustrator command called Fit to Artwork Bounds to ensure the images start out the same size. This command is not necessary to ensure images are the same size. There are many ways of doing so. Since images are in PNG format, at one time I used Photoshop to ensure the images were the same size. How you achieve the exact sizing for the images is not as important as achieving it no matter what software or technique you use. The Fit to Artwork bounds resize the images so they were the same size but also resize them without enough white space to ensure we stay within the boundaries of the image as a whole. To add white space I'm going to draw a no fill, no stroke square around the image making the image as a whole larger giving me more white space. I'll use Fit to Artwork bound again, making it easier to see the white space when stroking. Time to talk about stroking. I will use the pencil tool to do the stroking. Let me create a layer for the stroke. Layer 3 is for the square I talked about when discussing white space and layer 4 is for the stroke. We will be working with the two PNG files, house.png and couple.png. The first image has to be the foreground image which is the couple image. I have to hide the background image layer which is the house image leaving only the couple image on the canvas for stroking. I'll use the pencil tool for stroking and change the stroke size to 20 points. You can use whatever size you want. Before you start stroking, make sure you have the stroke layer selected. While stroking, let me talk about white space again. Earlier, I showed you how to create white space. If we would have not added white space around the image, imagine how easy it would be for you to slip up and stroke beyond the boundary of the image, which in turn changes the size of the image. Also, if I had very little white space, I'd have to go quite slowly to try to avoid stroking outside the boundary of the white space. Granted, even with plenty of white space, I could still go beyond the boundary of the white space, but a quick undo and I'm right back at it, without having to stroke at a snail's pace. Okay, I'm done stroking. Next, I will change the stroke layer opacity to zero so you can't see the stroke when using the image in Video Scribe. Time to save. We will save the PNG file with its zero opacity strokes as SVG file. SVG is the best format for realistic drawing in Video Scribe. Let's name it couple.svg. When saving an image as SVG file in Illustrator, you will be presented with a pop-up box with the current SVG settings. The settings I have here are correct. Let me zoom in, and if you want, you can take a screenshot of the settings. I'm really not certain if SVG settings have to be set up for other vector editors or not. I know this is a subject discussed at Video Scribe Community Support Board. You may need to check it out at Now that we are finished stroking couple.png and saving it as SVG image, we must select the stroke in the stroke layer and delete it. If you don't do this, it will not draw properly in Video Scribe. I'll try to explain why later. On the canvas, we have the couple without the stroke. Now we must make the house visible by clicking the eye in the layer panel to unhide it. 
Even though the couple is visible on the canvas, our goal is to stroke the house image. Don't worry if you stroke over the couple image. Since we already stroked it, it will not matter if we do or don't stroke it again while stroking the house. Before you start stroking the house, make sure you selected the stroke layer in the layer panel. Just like we did on the couple image, we will use the pencil to stroke the house image. This time I'm going to make the stroke size 40 points. Let me speed this up a bit. Just like we did for the couple image, we select the stroke image for the house and make the opacity zero. Now we need to save it as an SVG file. I'm going to name it both as VG, since both the couple and house images are being saved together. The SVG settings are correct so all I have to do is press OK.